This is my Gateway MT6728, it says over here, 6728 laptop. So, it should support 3 gigabytes of RAM total. I don't think it supports 4. Uh, just remember, remove the screws over here. The 7 or 8 screws. And you can lift this off. Revealing the RAM slots. So, if you want to do 3 uh, gigabytes of memory, the first slot has to be the 1 gigabyte. It says over here. First one has to be one gigabyte, and the second slot should be the two gigabyte memory module. And if you do it that way, the RAM will register okay. If you do it the opposite way, where you do two gigabyte first, then one gigabyte, it may not register on the MT6728. It's tr I tried checking Gateway's website, and they didn't. I don't know. I couldn't. It was hard for me to find out what the max memory was. So let me put this on and then try booting it up. So I'm going to boot up the laptop now. And press F2. It should take me into BIOS. And I can verify <laughs> that the RAM currently is at 3 gigabytes right over here. You can see that it says 3 gigabytes, the first slot is 1, second side side's 2 gigabytes. I can try it the opposite way around, let me go get do that. So I'm going to switch the slots so that the first slot is 2 gigabytes and the other slot is 1. So now the second slot will be 1 gigabyte and the first slot will be two gigabytes. And for time saving purposes, I'm going to turn this over, turn this on. Go on to BIOS. As you can see it's having trouble getting to BIOS. And try shutting it off again. Press F2 to go into BIOS. So if you do it the wrong way of putting in the RAM, it might not get past the gateway logo screen. I'll try reseeding the RAM, seeing if that fixes the problem. So, back again, you need to put it so that it's... The first slot here should be the one gigabyte RAM. And the second slot should be two gigabytes. If you're working on an lap old laptop like this, I'm very surprised. This is a pretty old laptop. I'm just reseeding the memory. I'm gonna try to reboot this thing. I'm gonna try plugging it in. It's plugged into the battery source. I'm gonna go press F2 for BIOS. As you can see, it's not even booting up A word of wisdom, remember to take out your battery when doing these RAM changes or any type of hardware change. You need to take out the power and the battery. 
but this is an old laptop and I don't care what happens to it, so I'm going to put it back so that the second RAM slot has two gigabytes. This is two gigabyte. This one only has one on the first slot. And now I'm pretty sure when I boot it up, it'll boot into BIOS very easily. I'm gonna press F2. You can see Gateway logo appears. Wait 10 or 15 seconds, it should boot into the BIOS screen. That's only happening because I don't have a hard drive inserted in there. But as you can see, way over here is where it says it's three gigabytes. I just want to let you know.